Hey there, it's Jessica with another pro tip from NGPF. It's that time of year again, inclement weather and final exam testing season, both of which can throw your pacing off track. Maybe you've got some students who are braving the cold and wind and snow and others that aren't and creating lots of attendance issues, or maybe a testing schedule has your class meeting irregularly and only some sections are meeting more than others. Either way, we understand where you're at, and I've got some suggestions for really meaningful ways that you can use class time when you don't want to teach your core lessons so that you can keep all the other students on track. So first tip is to head to the curriculum tab, head to units, and then scroll down to the very bottom where you see bonus. And inside the bonus lessons, I'm going to really shout out our ethics lesson, which is kind of cool as well as our philanthropy lesson. Um, both of those would make really great additions to your curriculum, but it would not probably be such core content that all of the rest of your students are gonna be left behind if they miss those lessons. So those are two options there from the unit page. Another thing I'll say is if you head back to the units, head on over to our career section, and expand our activities. There's lots of great activities in the career unit, but I wanna point out these ones that say soft to skills. Each of those um, is a worksheet that has six different scenarios that play into the theme, like accepting criticism, and you can use them however you want. You can have your students role play, you can have them write written responses, um, but they're just really great realistic um, workplace or school environment scenarios that your students might find themselves in, and they can practice boosting up their soft skills um, by doing any one of those activities. Um, also, Similarly, let's head back to the unit page. Let's head to the paying for college unit. And this might be something that you plan to do with all of your students, um, in which case you might not want to use it on a, a bad weather day or a testing day. Um, but here in our activities, again, tons of good ones in this unit. Um, but I want to draw your attention to create a monthly college budget. It's a really good one. It's been translated into Spanish for your English language learning students. Um, and it walks the students step by step through how to create a monthly budget to keep them on track while in college. Um, it's always a fan favorite and gets kids thinking about how they'll pay for some basic necessities during those college years. Um, if none of those are sounding interesting to you, I will recommend you head to resources and go to our interactive library. As you're probably familiar, there's tons of great stuff in here, uh, but I want to call your attention to the Uber game. So up here, if you type in Uber, you'll find it. Can you make it as an Uber driver? This one is not a central curriculum, but it's super fun and you can choose whether to just have them play the game or whether they also do the worksheet that accompanies it. I will also suggest that you search here in the interactive library for Pottle Roll. And we've actually got two different interactives that simulate playing the lottery, which I realize is maybe not something that you want to promote, but it, both of these activities certainly promote the idea that playing the lottery will probably mean you lose a lot of money without much chance of winning. Um, my personal favorite of the two is win the Powerball. This one's newer and really fun. And of course, I would recommend that you uh, go to some of the old standbys, which is Payback, our um, paying for college decision-making game award-winning as well as our newest game stacks the investing game and even if you've already used those with your class or you're planning to use them coming up um, the games are never the same game twice so you can play them with only some of your students in attendance and then use them later on in the semester uh, when all of your kids are back um, and then my final suggestion is the old, uh, <laughs> the old standby, which is show a video, but not just any video, head to our video library. And probably my all-time favorite is the um, documentary called Spent Looking for Change. It's about 40 minutes long, and it's a really great video that it captures um, lots of concepts that you will have talked about over your personal finance class. So if it's not something you normally show, it's a great one. The kids are gonna be really interested and engaged throughout. I hope these help um, you plan some good lessons for days when not all of your students are in attendance, um, but you still wanna do great stuff.
Thanks.